So, we've had the press conference in the Quinton Simon case, and it would appear that after several days of planning, they are now starting to search the refuse site where they believe that Quinton has been sent by his mother. And where is mother? Where is she? Is she locked up behind bars where she belongs? Is she being kept an eye on to make sure that she doesn't do anything, go anywhere? No, 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 no. She's 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 at home. She's she's not a flight risk, so don't worry everyone. Don't worry, she's not a flight risk. Not sure if being a flight risk is the most important part of this story because what we're saying is is that she put her child in a situation that resulted in him being both deceased and tossed out like a piece of trash. Now, you've got to be some form of either evil or some mental issue going on that could potentially mean that you're not a safe person to not be under lock and key. That's my thought process. Because there's no kind of grey area here, is there? Because when you're talking about the harm of a child in this situation and what has subsequently happened, you've got you've got to be a certain type of person. You, you know, that's about as bad as it gets. Like, that truly is as bad as it gets. So what does it take for the justice system to move in a certain direction, to give justice to a victim. We see this all too frequently. And we question in some cases, like we did in the McCann case that stretched decades. You know, we've looked, we've recently been talking about the Kylie Rodney case and the failings there, or the, the what look like failings by law enforcement. And, you know, there's there's many cases where law enforcement have not done what should have been done. And I'm not here to bash law enforcement, but something's gone amiss, isn't it? Something's not right. The system doesn't work. You know, those of you who've been around the channel a while, you may remember when I'd done the story on Angel Lynn. You know, I was talking to Angel's family, and this was a girl who her ex-boyfriend basically bundled her into the back of a van, flew off down the road, and it would appear that he then threw her out onto a motorway going 60 miles an hour, and she received life-changing injuries. Some may say a fate worse than death, as she is now trapped inside the body that was left from that incident, and it took fighting hammer and nail to get an increase on the original charges that were laid out. And even the new ones were an insult, but they were double what they were given originally. And I just, it, it, it concerns me. What deterrents are out there? What does this tell to would-be people who would harm their children? What does that tell them? Well, there's, there's just no deterrent. There's just There's just nothing that says we shouldn't do this or we better not do that because this is what's going to happen. You know, isn't law enforcement and that whole system supposed to protect and serve? You know, all I'm consistently seeing is people being failed. You know, I, d I must say, in addition to this, I do feel sorry for those who work within law enforcement right now who have now got the task of searching for Quinton. And they have said that they will not stop until they've found him. Now, that does tell me that they 100% feel that he is there. So if that's the case, then they're taking the story that was given to them by the mum. So therefore, they must believe that she's guilty of doing what was said. So therefore, why not get the ball rolling and bring her in? At the very least, get her off the fucking street. Tell me I'm wrong.